between you and me, this comic should not exist in 2020. What is going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Chase and today I am reviewing Gwen Stacy number one. It's a new comic run coming out of Marvel, obviously. This comic is should not exist in 2020. This comic is is dangerous. And I don't mean in the SJW way. Let's let's get into it, shall we? All right. So here is a nice, beautiful cover. This is a variant copy of Gwen Stacy. It's by Art Germ. And he... Oh, I love all of his work. I follow him on Instagram. And he does a lot of covers for Marvel, DC, and, and other uh, comic publishing companies. And his work is just always so clean and, and beautiful. It, so, yeah. Uh, so this is Gwen Stacy, number one, and again, I didn't see anybody else doing a review on this comic, uh, so hopefully if people are looking for it, they'll find my video. I really actually like this comic. It, it, was, it was great. So the writer is Christos Gage, who I don't, this is actually the first time I've heard of him. I actually don't know who that is. And the artist is Todd Nock, who I do know who that is. Um, he reminds me a little bit of uh, J. Scott Campbell, um, especially like with the noses and the faces of how he draws women uh, in particular. Uh, but he's, he's a really good artist. He's very um, dynamic. There's a lot of personality and liveliness to his, to his work. So I really actually enjoyed this comic. Basically, what it is, is it's going back in time to, because uh, when Gwen Stacy and Peter Parker meet, it's in college. So this is going back to when Gwen Stacy was in high school. And I don't think that this is a mini series. I think it's actually going to be a full, well, most most Marvel stuff, <laughs> it starts out as being like, hey, this is a new line. Um, and then it, <laughs> it just turns into a maxi or a mini series. Um, and, say, and they say, oh, it was always going to be that because the sales tank on things. And this one might tank because, again, I have no I, I don't know anybody else that actually bought this besides me. But, like I said, this is a good comic. So, Gwen Stacy, she's running for uh, class president. And if you remember, her dad is, um, gosh, who's that actor? Dana Carr? No, not Dana Carr. Anyway, her dad will always be that guy. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, so again, she's running for class president. And, yeah, so then there's a little uh, thing right here where, like, yeah. It, it, it borderlines where I'm like, oh, it's kind of going to get woke. Like, oh, he's taking advantage of her, like, first thing. And it, it it doesn't go that way. I mean, he does say, like, hey, Gwen, girl power and all. But, I mean, it like I said, it, it doesn't feel like, oh, this, they're just trying to send a message. All men are bad and that kind of thing. It just It just seems like high school nonsense. So she, yeah, so she goes home and then... And then she goes to the police station to visit her dad. So when she comes in, uh, he says, you know, you don't have to cook for me. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. What am I reading? You mean to tell me that this girl has a loving relationship with her father? And? And she made him food? So that's why she went home to make... Oh my gosh, this is the patriarchy. Get this comic out of here. I'm sorry. Now, I've calmed down. Um, I, I think I can continue with this. Oh, wow. That was, that was rough. If you don't know, that's very odd. I know, I know it sounds weird, 
but for a Marvel comic, for any kind of normal relationship to be there, it's just very odd. So that is props to Christos Gage for, <laughs> that's how you pronounce his name, for, uh, you know, putting in some normal things. So but anyway, they discuss a case that he's working on and she actually kind of starts helping out. And what's kind of cool is like, a, like he's actually guiding her like, okay, yeah, you're right. Now actually explain to me why you came to that conclusion. And so she does and she gives her theories and he says, yeah, that's some nice insight. He's guiding her because he's taught her. Now, what would happen with a Mary Sue character is that he would be sitting over here being like, oh my gosh, I didn't even think of that. This girl's amazing. Oh my gosh, girl, you are amazing. Yas, queen. And he would just be head over heels like he can't, just can't believe how amazing she is and she's just like i know i know i know everything that's what a mary sue is there's no depth they just know things they can just do anything that they need to have done and it's very boring so that's cool it, they have a healthy normal relationship she doesn't have a problem making him food because he's a busy guy and so she's like hey i can just bring him a plate of food and so so she leaves to uh, go study, and this guy drives up. Hey, pretty lady, need a ride? And she says, does that ever work? No, no, it doesn't. And so it's like, oh, cat calling. Gotcha, check mark. He leads you in like, oh, it's, it's almost like he's making fun of woke, <laughs> of that woke attitude in SJW. Uh, culture of like and then she says well it did today what wait a minute and that's a guy so she you're telling me she's not a lesbian what is this sh I'm, I'm sorry guys I'm I'm back um, got a little riled up there I'm just not used to this kind of Kind of stuff. So, oh, okay. So she's actually in a normal heterosexual relationship. What? And that's in a Marvel comic. Okay. All right. I guess, I guess we're going to go there. Dang. Christos. You're, you're, you're just, you're a normal dude writing a normal fun story. Yeah. It's, it's, it, it, it's, I know, I know it sounds weird that this would be something I would even talk about, but it, this is unusual. And they go to the library and I mean, and they're kissing more in the library. Like, and he's like, my mom thinks library is a code for something else. Yeah, this is just a, this is just turning into a really fun comic. So anyway, her dad, Chief Stacy, uh, goes to investigate more on this thing he's working on and I will leave it there. Yeah, I'm just gonna end it there it, Like because this it gets even better. It honestly gets better. I I Literally, I'm, I'm really excited for the second issue. I, I, I really am. I, I'm pretty sure this is monthly So next month this came out last Wednesday in March. I, I'm looking forward to the next issue This was a really fun comic and I highly recommend to go get it. Yeah, it, it was cool. It's it's a normal comic, like how you would think a Marvel comic would be. Like this is, this is, this is how original classic Marvel was and should be. Like props, Christos, great writing, Todd, obviously great art. Like good job guys and Rochelle, you're also a good colorist. I like your work. Anyways, guys, that's the video. Thank you guys for watching. If you have not already, please subscribe to the channel. And if you're like, Chase, Chase, this, what are you talking about? This is the worst book. I don't even know how you liked it. This, this, I mean, she's blonde. She's white. 
Do you not know the privilege she has? There should be more POC character. This is this is this is just. <laughs> if that's your opinion, please let me know down in the comments. Um, if you haven't already, please like the video. And um, yeah, I'll see you guys on the next one. And of course, as always, peace out.